pleasure to introduce you our next speaker, Sergei Golovko, uh, a renewed app growth expert and former head of growth at Coke Coke. Uh, Coke today Coke, yeah. he's here. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Hi, today he's here to share advanced strategies on how to effectively convert your website visitors into app users. So, yeah, Sergei, it's quite long. Welcome to yeah, the stage. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, hi, everyone. Yeah, truly pleasure to be here today. I'm a little bit jealous about uh, those of you who are like just uh, kicking off the workday because it's already 11.46 p.m. in Hanoi, Vietnam. But I, I hope it will be good and I can still uh, go through this. My 15 minutes It's quite quite short session. OK, uh, up till last month, I was uh, managing the local team in Vietnamese product uh, Cop Cop. Yeah, it's... Uh, pronounce of cop cop in Vietnamese, it's mean uh, knock knock in English. And we have a browser and search engine uh, with quite significant market share in desktop. It's a little bit lower in mobile. And that's what actually the mission we like try to break out and uh, like, like, I don't know, to change this trend with the using partnership growth, all the, all the UA mechanics and different stuff. In 2023, we achieved quite good growth in mobile, like 25% in Android and maybe around 40, 45% in the iOS for new users. And today I will share some approaches, maybe not with so focus on the technical part because yeah, that's basically what I want to share on the next slide. Um, the idea is that uh, when we're talking about web to app in general or web to app or some more sophisticated uh, uh, channels or even approaches, right? There are some many materials already. And actually I will forward you to the previous uh, app growth week last year where uh, I, I I remember that it was quite good like universal session about web to app and I add here in the presentation two links for the which I believe are quite good on this topic what I want to maybe not focus but at least to talk about today it's uh what kind of the way we can use in classical classic marketing um to adapt and make our like you you use acquisition or some retention strategy more efficient and uh, the thing which I want to maybe focus on, it's more like product oriented stuff. It's uh, when we unify user experience in the third item over here. And uh, it's basically, it's basically uh, can consist from another elements. Uh, we usually, um, we usually heard about this, like a deep linking, universal links, feature match or cross platform. Deep linking, of course, it's kind of when you direct users to specific content they um, need at the moment, universal links, you're all familiar with the, um, the seamless way to um, connect uh, web and apps through the URLs. Of course, there should be some feature match, uh, right? Because um, it's kind of frustrating when we see this e-commerce app, for example, with some limitation for function in mobile or something. Or cross-platform cross experience, it's maintained the uh, continue user experience mostly. For example, in browser case, it's quite important when you have the, when you started your user journey on web and then you just want to continue it on a mobile. And some kind of common sense stuff, it's consistent design. It can be relevant for some user groups, I believe. What I want to add here, it's the kind of user attempt. And let's think about this. It's more like invisible element usually. It's more like, it, but it can uh, have a kind of crucial role to result. And it's, I can do it like this. I can say it like invisible spicy, which can help to improve our metrics. And today I will try to show the few, few examples, a few cases we did. Um, let's get out with uh, some definition of it. It's mine. It's uh, like very subjective. It's uh, totally like my take, please um, consider it like this, but I suggest the intent in this case, it's like more broader than contextual targeting. It's when you're trying to predict the user expectation or needs before they actually express it or articulate it in some search terms, some behavior, some actions, or to really doing something. Okay. And um, yeah, I decide to like present some cases in the, like this kind of matrix view. Uh, let's try to explain uh, with this. Uh, here we have like uh, six different types of features we have in, inside our product. Uh, most of them are ranked in top ten. Uh, I choose to uh, I choose to represent this as the, this kind of matrix view, and you'll uh, get through this. Uh, on the horizontal, we can see uh, here the ad sets, landing page, CPP, custom product page, and onboardings. 
And it's what we usually working on with the marketing materials when we're doing web to app, right? On the columns here, it's just our features, which uh, will represent this intent stuff. Okay. Uh, first of all, let's take a look for the cell number one. It's uh, this music uh, playlist and it's our feature, uh, one of our core feature and ad set. Um, it's just the way how we usually uh, are presented inside the team. But yeah, the idea is easy. That's everyone here. It's a specialist and you all know that we have ad sets, for example, the Facebook ads ad sets. And here we, are, we have this, our uh, music playlist feature, which is basically a few, few words about that. And the right side of the screen, you can see that it's our standout feature compiles music uh, from four free sources. YouTube, SoundCloud, which are famous, but two more, which are quite popular here in Vietnam. And you can create your own playlist, listen offline, like on the background and so on. And we encountered challenges in the boosting and promoting this feature, to be honest, uh, when the beginning. And the, based on the user acquisition metrics was, uh, were not so, not so good. And then we like a shifted approach to from showcasting the cool functionality or some maybe targeting like music lovers on the Facebook or, or TikTok. And we switch it to like brainstorm. What else actually they're concerning this kind of users? And uh, we discover the few like primary concerns, even secret, secret concerns. And actually that was money. Some users couldn't afford it, like for example, students, while others got used to listening, I don't know, through pirate streaming, for example. And um, this actually really contrasted with our internal research. And we did it before in our, like we interviewed the co-workers, you know, and a lot of them, like young guys, we saw that, okay, it's quite similar, but that was bias. Uh, all of them like answered, why I need the one more stuff in my browser? I have my Spotify account. But yeah, that was actually controversial that in the real interview of the real users, we found opposite, uh, opposite intent of them. And we uh, use it, we use it with the creatives like this. You see it on the left side. It's kind of picture showing the three like bully guys with subscription price on their t-shirts and opposite to us, like someone who really helps with someone, who, who really helps um, to, to solve the problem. In this case, to just uh, uh, more, more convenient to consume the music you have uh, free online, okay? And the result was quite well. Uh, I can say it was amazing, oh, the good comment, by the way, but minus 25% in CPI. And this, uh, and this actually creative became one of our best on the general type of campaign. That means we, we started to use this feature-based uh, intent as the part of our like general user acquisition strategy. Okay, let's move on. Uh, it's one more thing, it's about landing page. I'm pretty sure that uh, there are so many bright guys here who are doing a lot of stuff with App2F with landing. That's why maybe my approaches will be quite simple and uh, uh, not so impressive, but I will show you how we are uh, doing it with the intent stuff and how we improve it with the intent. Um, in, this, in this case, uh, I just decided to represent it in one place, how we combine in basically our landing pages. We um, using the pieces, the elements which we believe can be better. Of course, we're trying to not like overload the landing page in there, but sometimes, okay, guilty. We 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 can do it even sometimes very overloaded. Uh, and um, uh, some findings really helps. For example, one of our best uh, landing page, and we tested to be honest more than one one hundred for the last year. And uh, the one of the best there was uh, one of the best there was. Um, when we present the ad block as the features and functionality, because we kind of using that technology and we can do that. And we notice that a lot of people like really good react on that. There is ad block plus plus something because they it's quite well known brand. And that's landing one and we increase CR conversion rate to like click to install quite well. Okay, let's move on again, CPP. And again, the so many guys who uh, who even split metrics, it's uh, the the guy the guys are writing all this stuff to optimize the CPP, and they actually base the product on it. That's why maybe I'll just share only uh, one example of what kind of things we found we found with that we 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 optimize we optimize with the CPP. Uh, first of all, this case. Uh, 
maybe quite similar to what we usually um, thinking about the, like uh, the same contextual targeting funnel, right? You, you, you see here the Google search, then you see the, some web to landing, then you see the specific custom product page and we just adopt all this funnel. And then you see the, uh, the app, like uh, some onboarding. What we did and how we work with intent here, that was uh, the small, the small, uh, um, the small optimization of it. We actually did some research on the uh, audience on the Facebook. We just uh, um, posted something that okay, guys, you can get, get get a free account. That was not easy to get an account in ChatGPT in the beginning when they launched it here in Vietnam because of the phone number. Uh, they not allow and reject all Vietnamese phone numbers. And we just, uh, you know, to um, share that, okay, we'll give everyone a free charge GPT account before we launch official product, our own Kokok AI product. And when we tested, we realized that we have so many answers from students and the audience was so excited to use it. And we changed the most of all marketing materials based on that idea that most of our users probably will use it for like learning because they're like students in university. They are not the office worker as some of us expected based on our internal, you know, interviews. And this is one more way how to, you can change the, uh, uh, how to, you can change the logic of to uh, finding, uh, to discover these insights. Okay. Um, uh, and yeah, the result was quite well in this case too. Uh, then onboarding, and I believe this is the most maybe um, less uh, less sorry I can say less uh, impressive part because we didn't achieve the great result in onboarding. That was the few like uh, significant improvement, but that was few percent only like few percent on DU and uh, and three percent uh, up to retention rate, but not more. Maybe you will get some better uh, results, and I really want to uh, ask you guys if you have some some cases. Please share because I'm quite interested about this. Area. How to improve this onboarding? It's so complicated for me. We like really struggle with that. Okay, um, and uh, what else? What kind of else? Where we can discover this intense? Where where else? And again, as I said, the social proof. We even invent, not invent, because it's kind of in, inter, interaction metric in social when you have, you know, your likes, shares, and some comments divided for the reach you have. It's kind, it's kind of metric showing your interest to your specific post. And we usually rate our some activities in organic social to find this kind, this kind of post which doing quite well, better than others. And that's how we discover in more insights. Uh, the cast depth in interviews, I already mentioned, it's quite good. All quantitative and even qualitative research can do a lot for that. The product research, I will share you one case later. Uh, Google Search Console, also we uh, did a quite uh, random and uh, quite good case with the Google, Google Search Console. And review and feedback, I'm pretty sure everyone here working with that. Okay, I have still one minute or something, right? Because I really want to share one slide of product research. It's quite complicated, looking like quite, quite complicated. And actually we spent maybe two or three months for that. What is representing here? It's just the distribution of our growth on iOS based on the features or consuming, which are most, um, sorry, uh, it's new, new users only, first of all, in iOS. And uh, it's showing which kind of um, type of uh, consuming behavior we tracked inside the application. Uh, that mean if we see that users doing more searches, we will like put it in the group like doing searches or like doing some YouTube activity. It will be here in YouTube. And we found that in some specific in some specific this type of uh, uh, user consumption or user behavior we found really impressive growth for, for the one year. That was mostly two at what YouTube consumers and that was movie streaming. And based on that, we not only like refocus our like marketing plan, sorry, product plans and some change something in our sprints for the future. We also change the way how we like even planning the marketing campaigns because it's quite, it's quite important part and what important piece of an understanding of your like new users. Okay, and the, the the best part of it, actually, it's not to just how to discover. The best part of it, I believe, that um, in some kind of common cases, that was no growth at all. For example, the news consumption over here. 
on this uh, like just plus two percent. And that means it's kind of common way what you using your mobile browsing for, right? But it was no growth at all. Okay. Um, yeah, that one of the funniest case was the, with India, which we actually that appear like more or less uh, randomly based on just we, uh, okay, it's, maybe I'll really share this case uh, somewhere else because I'm not sure uh, I have enough time. But the idea is that uh, the Indian guys, they just decide to change the name for us because the cop cop, to be honest, in English, not sound, sound very good. And yeah, they change us for Coco. And I decided, okay, why not? We're really flexible on it. It's now not our core market. And we decided to change our, change our name there in store. And use, I used for that the uh, uh, Google uh, custom listing, I'm confusing with the name, it was probably custom listing, yeah. And I changed and renamed our application in India. And actually that increased the C, CP, CTI, sorry, CTI rate uh, quite well. Yeah, it's like simple solution, but you can achieve the great result. Okay, thank you. And it's this is not just a shark. It's the shark which actually bites the internet cable, which connect the Vietnam with the global. And you know that was the few incidents. Please Google it. It's so funny. A few incidents with them uh, when they we totally was like uh, uh, our like global connection was so uh, like bad during these days when the some sharks bite it. Now I guess it's not connected with sharks anymore. But you still uh, the people call it like shark incidents. And yeah, please be uh, like local relevant. And yeah, let's keep in touch. I have my QR for LinkedIn over here. I see that Galina already appeared here. Yeah, I'm here, I'm finished. 